Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I'm going to be talking about The New Jedi Order and what I consider to be the three best books in the series. I should preface this by saying this is just my opinion. This is just my three favorite, my the three I think are the best books. I'm sure everyone else has different opinions. In fact, I know they do because I see so many countering uh, different opinions on uh, YouTube and on everywhere else about this. And so I just thought this will be fun. I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Um, I love reading when people have different ideas and uh, can either agree with me or disagree with me. That's always so fun. So to begin with, I'm going to be talking about my number three, and that is going to be the book Conquest, which is the first book in the uh, Edge of Victory uh, duology by Greg Keyes. The the New Jedi Order had a, an interesting aspect that it was all one long series, all developed by Del Rey, and all of the books have a similar overall tone, but each book or book series or duology or trilogy or whatever, each of those those uh, books by individual authors have their unique aspects that they bring to the table. You know, uh, someone like Matt Stover brings a very hard-edged uh, view of the Force, whereas someone like um, uh, Aaron Alston is very funny, uh, or you have someone like uh, Michael Stackpole who brings a kind of classy attitude to it and a kind of a big sci-fi feel to it. So they each have their own individual aspects, uh, but together it makes a great series. Uh, this first book that I'm talking about, uh, Conquest, uh, is a really interesting book because it feels almost like an epic fantasy book in a uh, in a Star Wars universe. What I mean by that is that the the, the book features uh, the Yuuzhan Vong are now heading to Yavin Four and are beginning to uh, invade Yavin Four, and uh, the main uh, character of this book is Anakin uh, Solo, as he has become one of the fan favorites and one of the biggest members of the cast uh, of the New Jedi Order. And he is uh, basically sent to go and try to fight against the Yuuzhan Vong and save all of the students from the Jedi Academy there. Um, this kind of has a similar feel to the Jedi Academy books uh, that Kevin Anderson and Rebecca Mesta did, uh, wrote. Uh, it's a little bit longer than those, uh, but it's it still has that that youth, that uh, energy that those books had that I think was really good. But what makes this book so good is it puts some of the characters through incredible uh, journeys and through just some tough situations. Uh, and there is a love interest, uh, I believe her, if, it's been a while since I've read this, uh, I believe her name is Tahiri, and she is a love interest to Anakin Solo, and she goes through some crazy stuff with the Vong, and Part of Anakin's uh, journey in this book is to go and save her, and it just produces this feel-good type of adventure story, this fantasy type story featuring a Jedi doing what Jedi's do: go help other people. In this case, it's go help other Jedi who are maybe maybe need help. And so I loved this book. Um, it's the follow-up book, uh, Rebirth, was a good book, but I didn't feel the energy. I didn't feel it was quite as impressive a book uh, comparatively. I think that uh, Conquest is a far superior book, and I think it's uh, it even works kind of as a standalone in, in, in a little way. Uh, I do enjoy Greg Key's writing. He's He wrote a couple of Star Wars books outside of just this duology, um, and I've uh, been recommended on this channel. People have commented and recommended his uh, fantasy books, which I've seen uh, in used bookstores but have not yet gotten, but I am very interested to do so. So the number two book, uh, which I think is the best books uh, of the, the New Jedi Order, is probably a more controversial one, and that is Kathy Tyers' Balance Point. Now, Kathy Tyers uh, wrote uh, famously The Truce of Bakura, which has had a pretty mixed reception among fans. From what I can tell, it's, it skews more negative, but it's not quite as negative as some of the other Banamera books, such as the... Um, uh, like the Children of the Force or the Planet at Twilight 
or uh, the Crystal Scar. It doesn't have that quite skew negative, but it, it definitely skews negative from what I've uh, seen. And so the fact that she even got a second book was impressive, I thought. And the fact that her second book was the hard one of the hardcovers in the New Jedi Order, because at least from Del Rey's publishing of it, uh, Del Rey only did a handful of the books as hardcovers. The rest of the books were paperbacks. So only certain authors uh, had the, the, the big event books. Which in a sense works because it's like you're building and building and then you have the big, uh, you know, season finale type thing or season premiere or season finale or the, the hardcovers. The problem with that is that some of the other books feel kind of filler in a way. Like you could read the hardcovers and get the biggest moments of the series, even though there are huge things happening in the smaller books. So it's kind of a weird place like that. And also the the, the hardcover books are generally longer books um, because of that. And this is one of the hardcovers. And I thought that this book was great. The way that this book basically... Uh, takes uh, Jason Solo and he is having this moral dilemma that he has across the entire New Jedi Order. And by the end of the New Jedi Order, I was really sick of Jason Solo because I was like, just make up your mind, just do the right thing, help people out. And he's this is towards the beginning of his journey, his struggle with using the Force to, to kill the Vong. And uh, I think that this book handles his journey better than any other book, including Matt Stover's book, um, uh, which I know a lot of people love that book, and I know a lot of people put that not only as their number one New Jedi Order book, but as their number one Star Wars book. They love uh, Matt Stover's writing. I don't like his his style as much, and I don't like the storytelling that happened in, in that New Jedi Order book, but... Uh, I thought that here it worked better because you have a pretty big arc for Jason Solo and the end of this book, I won't, I won't spoil it, but Jason does something and it's like, yes, that is totally how he should react to what the Vong are basically putting him in his family. And this book also has a sense of a, a, a refugee story with, that Han and Leia are trying to help uh, the refugees out. And it also has, you know, the typical Vong f- uh, storytelling and the, the big Vong action. But there's also an element of this story that I thought worked really well. And that is the, uh, the Luke and Mara, uh, Mara Jade scenes in this book. Uh, Luke and Mara, uh, basically, you you learn that they have, oh, she's, Mara's been sick for quite a while, and they've wanted to be able to have kids, but have never really been able to do so. And there is a major uh, movement forward in their story, and their love relationship, I think, is told the best in this book. I don't think any other book that I've read tells Luke and Mara's love story Maybe, maybe the Thrawn duology does, but few others. It is, it is very good in that aspect, and I like it. Uh, th- something that I found out after I read the book that I really liked was that uh, Kathy Tyers actually sent her manuscript to Tim Zahn and said, "Hey, did I nail Mara Jade right in these scenes?" And uh, she was the only author in the New Jedi Order to actually do so. And I think that is a really cool thing on Kathy Tyers' part that she would take the time to do that. Uh, she didn't have to, but but it was very nice. And I think it shows because I think she handled Mara Jade the best in the New Jedi Order series. And I think she also did Luke very well uh, in this series. And so that's that's why that book is my number two. I think it's the best of the hardcovers, personally. Um, it's the one I, 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 I reminisce the most about. Even though you have the beginning of the, the thing and the death of Chewie in... Uh, in the first book, uh, why am I blanking on it now? Uh, Vector Prime, and then in Unifying Force, you have you know the epic f- climactic finale, which has one of the best scenes in Star Wars in it, uh, and then you have you know Star by Star, which has amazing visuals and amazing turning points, and really is the big pivot of the series. Like after like you can you can really measure the series of before Star by Star and after Star by Star. It's the, it's the big event book of the series. But I think that this one by Kathy Tyers is probably my uh, my favorite of the hardcovers personally, just because I enjoyed all of its elements. It they all worked for me. So my number one book, uh, this 
I think I'm really curious to see if other people felt this way. And this is Aaron Alston's Rebel Dream. It is from the Enemy Lines duology. Uh, The second book is called uh, Rebel Stand, but I'm talking about Rebel Dream. I don't think I've ever read maybe maybe a few Star Wars books where I've 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 finished the book and been oh my goodness that was brilliant uh, that happened to me with Kenobi I know which is still my favorite book uh, of Star Wars and then I think that happened with the new Thrawn book but this was a book that even though it's not necessarily in my favorites necessarily I walked away amazed at what. Aaron Alston was able to do in this book. Uh, this book is one of the first books to take place after um, uh, Star by Star, and so the rebellion is reeling from everything that's happened there. Or I should say, the New Republic is reeling, and they basically decide we need to start fresh and basically start a rebellion. We are we're now on the losing side. So we we the Vong has more power and more troops than us, and so they basically reform a rebellion and. Aaron Alston takes the story back to its roots of essentially empire versus rebellion, but the empire is the is the Vong. And the way he's able to basically craft the book around World War II type battles, I thought was very interesting. And I really liked the insight into the the troops. You see them slowly build the the rebel army. You see them slowly build all of their their X-wings and you see them slowly gathering troops, gathering forces, gathering political power and you see them making tactical moves. We're going to attack this one, but we're not going to attack this one cuz it's not good right now, but we can do this. It was just a wonderful um, uh, a wonderful war book. And I feel like it was Aaron Alston gets uh, war tactics on a level that maybe Michael Stackpole does, but few other authors get war tactics like him. He does like the big epic strategy. Um, I guess you could lump Timothy Zahn in there as one of them, but my Aaron Alston is really great. And of course there's great humor in this book. And he brings in a lot of his uh, X-Wing characters from the Wraith Squadron books that he included. So it really does, uh, it, it connects to Aaron Alston's type of writing, but it also connects to this type of fun uh, adventure writing and also has important elements of the New Jedi Order, plus the war, the World War II type of storytelling that it has. Uh, I believe that he said it was partially uh, part of the, the Battle of Baston uh, was how, he, and World War One, I, I should say, uh, for the Battle of Baston was part of it. And then also there were some other World War II battles uh, I'm blanking on the names here, but he had some World War II battles that he based it off of, and I just thought it was completely fascinating. So that's my top three uh, uh, New Jedi Order books. I am sure your list, if you have one, is going to be different. What are your favorite New Jedi Order books? Let me know down in the comments below. Am I right? Am I totally off base? Should Matt Stover get more love from me? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, But uh, until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.